this light right here that I use to kind of like give my face some depth on this side keeps fucking dying on us and I don't know why. So this video has been very like sporadic every time. Hey, what's going on everybody? My name's Craig, AKA General Sanders, but a lot of people just call me Flip. And on this channel, we smoke weed, talk about weed products, and just kind of chill. If that sounds like something you'd be into, hit that subscribe button. It's located in this general area right here. And in today's video, we're gonna talk about my favorite stash container. I, don't, I can't really call it a jar or anything like that. It's more just a stash container. Before we get into anything, rolled up this beautiful king size bitch, and I figured we could get a nice little slow-mo in. So cheers. All right, first, let's burn this little tip off. A little tip. Wow, that's a tall fucking flame. Now let's get into a little slow mo. stash container. So I've showed you guys a lot of different stash containers from the Coca-Cola can and the Coca-Cola bottle. I'll leave a link to that video right here. To the Type Vac, I'll leave another link to that video once this one's gone right here. And um, a bunch of other shit like that little wood thing that we did. Uh, just like a bunch of different stash containers. Link to the little wood thing right here. This is my all time favorite. This is up there on the level with the Coca-Cola can and bottle where people shouldn't exactly know what it is. And by the way, if you don't like Coca-Cola, that can comes in a ton of different kinds. I used to have a sun-kissed one. Uh, I actually talked about that in a video. We'll leave a link to that video right here. A lot of links so far in the first couple minutes of this fucking video, and we're gonna stop it. We're gonna stop it right the fuck now. My favorite stash container, I found it on eBay, and I've never seen another one like it, is this fix-a-flat container. It is fully, like, not functional, like, it doesn't have any fix-a-flat in it, but, like, you can take this, like, top piece off and all that bullshit, and it has, like, the fix-a-flat thing. It looks like it's been used already, maybe, but I keep this in my car all the fucking time. If you're a police officer watching this video, <laughs> I don't keep this in my car all the time. Don't check it. Even though, I mean, technically I don't have to anymore because it's legal. But this thing is fucking dope. It comes in a bunch of different size. I got the one for SUVs because I keep it in my SUV, in my Denali, Fat Amy. Shout out to Fat Amy. But it comes in like a, like a smaller size for like regular cars and like a huge one for like trucks. But I figured like I should get the one that matches the kind of car I have. So this one is for large tires because SUVs have larger tires and they have one that's like a little bit smaller if you have like a regular car and they have one that's even bigger if you have like a huge fucking car or like a truck or something. But anyway, probably the best stash container I've ever found. It just comes apart right here at the bottom and you can fit a ton of shit in there. And when I say a ton, I mean like a ton. Like I can fit well over an ounce in this this thing's fucking uh, dope as shit. <laughs> I stuttered over my words right there, but I really do love this. When I'm going out to parties or something, and I just have like a couple like loose rolled up joints and shit that I want to bring with me. I usually just like stuff them in here, close it up, throw it in the back of my car, call it a fucking day. Cause I know like this shit, like no human's gonna find this shit. Maybe a dog, it's not like 100% smell proof or anything. I think it is smell proof, like up to a certain point. So like where humans might not be able to like smell it, but like if there's a dog coming to search your car, they're probably gonna find this thing and they're gonna look at it like, what the fuck? And they're probably gonna tear it open and then it's gonna be ruined. But yeah, it's a pretty fucking dope thing. I've used it a fuck ton. And I mean like a fuck ton. I 
Okay. <sighs> Almost let that go out. You know, you can like bring a joint back to life just by kind of hitting it. <sighs> We're in that stage right now. <sighs> anyway, back to the shit. When I'm going on vacation, going down the shore, when I'm going to uh, like events and shit, I use this because it's perfect because this is something that should be in a car anyway. Like, if you're a fucking person that drives around, like, you probably have seen this at, like, every fucking Pet Boys and AutoZone and whatever the fuck local, like, kind of fucking shit you guys have. But it's fucking Fix-A-Flat. Like, I feel like if I was a cop and I was, like, running through a car and I saw a thing of Fix-A-Flat, I would just throw it to the side and not worry anything about it. That's why I think this is, like, a super good one. Like, there's other stash containers that like don't really look like stash containers, but you know what I mean? Like I've seen like, like hair brushes that you can like take the, like the middle out of and shit like that. And like, I've seen a bunch of like random things that are all like very small and compact. And maybe if you're just like trying to bring like an eighth with you or something like that, you could do that or like a couple cones maybe. But like this thing, like anything you want to bring, fucking anything, it doesn't matter. Unless you want to bring like a quarter pound. But who the fuck is bringing a quarter pound with them anywhere? Unless you're going on vacation for like, I don't know, like two weeks, three weeks, I don't know. I probably smoke a lot more than normal people. But this thing really does, it just fucking does the job. And it's something that looks like it should be in a vehicle. You know what I mean? So if you're driving, I highly suggest grabbing a fix a flat fucking stash container. The only place I've ever seen it, like I said, was on eBay. I kind of forget how much it costs. I think this one was like 40. I think the, the extra large tire was like 50. And I think the small car tire was like in that 20 to 30 range. But once again, if you live in a state where it's not legal, if you live in a place like with your parents and you don't want them knowing that you have some shit, you could always just keep your shit in here and keep it in the car, and I doubt they'd fucking ever be the wiser. Just throw this shit in your trunk. Uh, what I do is I keep it in, like, the little pocket behind the passenger seat. You know what I mean? That little fold. That's where I fucking keep it. But, you know, I guess you should probably put it somewhere where, you know, it's more realistically supposed to be. Like, in a trunk. Trunk would probably be the best place for that. Yeah. All right. Also, super happy to be using my new green clipper lighter. I don't know why I wanted to tell you guys that. I just fucking love the color of this. Put some light on it. Let's put some light on it. Look how pretty that fucker is. Jesus, man, that shit's beautiful. I love that thing. Gotta love just having green things. You know what I mean? My favorite color. What's your favorite color? Let me know in the comments. I just, I'm just interested to see what everyone's favorite colors are. I think that's fun too. Like everyone, I like that everyone has like different favorite things. I know that's like a really common thing. And this is like a super high thought. All right. So like I was saying, I think it's cool that everyone has like their own favorite thing. And that's some dope shit. I don't know why. I was going to go on like a whole fucking tangent about that. But long story short, this light right here that I use to kind of like give my face some depth on this side keeps fucking dying on us and i don't know why so this video has been very like sporadic every time the light has randomly died like and then we tried to turn it on like connect it to the charger and everything and it shit just wasn't working fucking video creator problems that you guys probably don't give a fuck about but it just it, it keeps like going off and fucking randomly just fucking and that's done fucking two bars again. I've let it charge like nine fucking times. So I'm just gonna fucking wrap this video up real quick before it fucking dies again. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. This shit is fucking fun. I like doing this shit a lot, man. Just kind of hanging out with you guys and like talking shit, showing you guys some of my favorite like things. Uh, this thing is really fucking cool. If you can find one and you know you drive around a lot, I highly suggest you grab it. Uh, don't forget to do all that shit that normal YouTubers and shit tell you to do at the end of videos. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Sharing is like fucking huge, especially since we're still so small. But fucking, we just passed 800 fucking subs and I've been told by like a bunch of people that the first 1K is always the slowest. So it shit's about to pick the fuck up hard and I can't wait. I'll see you guys next time. Peace. So 
a city here. The world is coming to an end. America. What have you taken? A few marijuana. A few marijuana. The 